Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living And I'm Marie uh, We hope everyone is having a great day uh, Marie and I, we're doing pretty good today uh, We're dealing with some issues that we deal with quite often sometimes mm -hmm. um, I would say the best thing is looking outside it is just a beautiful fall day We've been having just a little bit of light rain and cool weather and the leaves are starting to fall off of all the oak trees and it's just beautiful outside, isn't it, Marie? Uh, yes, there's something to say about an overcast sky sometimes. It can be beautiful along with the sunshine, but it sure is rough on arthritis <laughs> when it's damp and rainy. <laughs> but um, this is good book reading weather and just staying under the blanket weather right now <laughs> yeah you've been bothered with that for two or three days haven't you um the cold and damp rainy weather uh it all uh, causes your i've always heard it causes your arthritis to uh, flare up and it seems like that that's true because i'm experiencing some symptoms of it <laughs> well now the symptoms that i'm having it's um Right now it's three o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday evening, and normally Marie and I would be in here about you know early on Saturday morning making this video, but today and two or three days this last week, I've just been extremely sleepy. I can't hardly seem to wake up during the daytime, uh, especially early in the morning, can I? No, it's and, but I've had uh, chemo and uh, I've also had radiation. And um, it took me a while after I uh, quit taking it for it to get out of my system where I felt like um, staying awake and having energy. Well, I think that's possibly what's going on with me. It's been over a month since the last time I had a treatment. Yeah. But just for the last uh, two, two or three days this last week, I'll wake up early in the morning and I'll have breakfast. And then I just get sleepy and go back to sleep. And just today has been worse than any day. I've just slept all morning. I, I may look a little sleepy right now because I just woke up about 15 minutes ago, didn't I, Marie? Yeah, but uh, during the night when I wake up several times during the night, I look over there and Calvin's wide awake answering comments. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't sleep very much at night. Well, I try to sleep. But when I do wake up, I will use my phone and check comments. And if there's comments, I will answer them during the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if y'all get a reply during the middle of the night, you'll know that I'm not sleeping good that night, am I? No. But we do still have some uh, sweatshirts. We've got a few left. We've got some of the pink shirts that says, do what you love, love what you do. I've uh, got some of them left. We've got some of the green shirts left that uh, has Southern Country Living on it. And I think the last count, we got seven aprons left. So the aprons are almost gone. If you want to get one of those or the sweatshirts, you need to get in there and place an order uh, quick because uh, they will get sold out. And we're I not, love my apron. Yeah, we're not going to order any more merchandise before Christmas. And so uh, be sure and buy it now while we got in stock. The next time we open the store up will probably be in the spring right before summer gets here. Don't forget, if you want to order uh, any of the shirts or the merchandise, I will put a link in the description below and get your order in before they get completely sold out. I know that on these sweatshirts, the 2X size is completely sold out, and I think the extra large is sold out. So if you want one, you're going to need uh, to get one of the smalls, mediums, or large to uh, be able to get one. But on the other shirts, we do have the two X's and the extra large on the others. So anyway, if you want to order one, be sure and 
follow that link, go over and get your order in before they get completely sold out. This morning, uh, earlier today, Cynthia and Addison stopped by for a few minutes. Yeah, and yeah. she came running through the house and she ran in my bedroom and she usually goes in there and gets my little dog that I got when I had cancer and my little line that um, the women uh, brought around uh, to the cancer people. And uh, she got my little line, and so I could I didn't have the heart to tell her she couldn't take it with her, so she took it with her, and so um, I'll be sure to get that back though. But I just didn't have the heart to take it away from her, so she took it with her, and she really that's the first thing she does when she comes over here. She loves those two stuffed animals. Yeah, and Cynthia promised that she would bring it back for her. <laughs> uh, it's just sentimental to me because of uh, what I went through and uh, when I got it and everything. But it still wasn't sentimental enough for me to tell Addison she couldn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Addison was going to a wedding. Uh, Kim is going to be part of a wedding today for one of her good friends. Yeah. And Addison was going to be one of the flower girls in the wedding. And I didn't want to get her upset. And so, <laughs> and so, uh, <laughs> so um, hopefully they had a good time. It's probably over with by now since it's 3 o'clock. I think the wedding started at 1 today. Yeah. Uh, speaking of weddings, that brings up something. Uh, several people have made comments on our Sunday chats since we've been doing them over here at the table. But behind me here, there's a picture here on the wall. And that's a picture of um, me and Marie, and several people have asked about that picture. And Time really does tell a story, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, was several years ago. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tell you, that picture was taken 11 years ago when Kim and Jonathan got married, and they got married at the Allendale Mansion in Kingsport, Tennessee. And uh, that particular picture we staged it and took it there's a big wall painting that hangs on the wall mm -hmm. and we took that picture standing in front of that wall painting so it makes us look like we're in an old uh, mansion for sure don't it Marie? Yeah. But uh, I'll put you a big blow up of the picture here so you can see it better and then also a couple of people have asked I'm not sure which direction to point but behind me up here on the shelf there's a little plate that's here and uh, a couple of people have asked about that and that is a plate that when Kim went to uh, Israel uh, I think it was a year before she got married she was in college but anyway uh, when she returned she brought that plate back to us and it is made in Jerusalem and it says Jerusalem on the plate and she brought that to us. So that's been about 11 or 12 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we really are proud of that. And that little shelf has got several little mementos that we keep up there. Yeah. And we rotate them around sometimes, but yeah. just, you know, whatever's up there at the time. Right. It, I need to, it's got really too much up there right now. I need <laughs> to put some Christmas stuff up there. <laughs> um, speaking of Christmas stuff, Marie, we haven't put our tree up yet. No. And I usually always do it right after Thanksgiving, but um, there's no rush at our age. <laughs> We're not hosting any events here, but we'll get it up in our own time, won't we? We sure will. <laughs> um, and we, uh, we were going to go do some uh, Christmas shopping this last week, but Marie had a home health nurse scheduled to come out one day, and then she had physical therapy that came out two different days. And he has, he's not pushing me too hard, but he is pushing me, you know, up to my limit a little bit. And so uh, I feel it a little bit. <laughs> but I guess that's good for me. Yeah, and the biggest thing is they don't tell you when they're going to come. Uh, they'll say, well, we'll try to get you on. They'll tell you a day that they may come. Or like one time they said, we'll either be there Thursday or Friday. Well, you don't know which day they're going to come, and it's hard to plan what you want to do. Right. And they usually call and say, we're fixing to head out that way. We'll be there in 30 minutes. And uh, we don't want to be in the middle of a cooking <laughs> video when they come, so it's kind of 
rough right now for us, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's a little, it disrupts your schedule. Yeah. You don't know what to plan for. Mm -mm. But then on top of that, like I said, I was tired and sleepy for the last two or three days. So yeah. it throws everything off, really. And this weather that we're having right now, it's just uh, damp and cool and makes you want to just cover up and just read a book. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the week before, though, we had a lot of fun. We did get out, mm -hmm. and we made the video that we posted Monday night. Yeah. Uh, speaking of videos, Marie, if you want to, we'll go ahead and talk about our videos that we did last week. All right. And so uh, the first video that we had last week was our Sunday chat. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday chat, we did talk about uh, the fact that we did go out and do the uh, restaurant review mm -hmm. video. We recorded it. And then we also talked about where uh, Cynthia went to the uh, Cedartown Fall Festival mm -hmm. and got the book from Collar Valley Cooks. Yeah. And so uh, that was a good video. If you missed that one, you need to go back and watch uh, last week's Sunday chat. It was real good. And then on Monday, uh, our video was the one where we went out uh, on a restaurant review and we went to the Pick O'Delly. Yeah. And, and a lot of people get it confused with uh, Piccadilly, and that's a national chain of uh, restaurants, but this one is called Pick O Deli. And it's just a locally owned uh, restaurant, and they do have very good food. Even though I didn't like their catfish that particular day, yeah. uh, the meal was still good and I enjoyed it. And uh, definitely we will be going back, but next time I'll get what I normally always get that I love so much. Yeah. Okay, and so then our next video that we had last week, Marie did the uh, easy pineapple dessert, mm -hmm. and um, that was a very good dessert. An easy dessert for y'all that don't feel like cooking like a, a big cake or a pie or something other like that. Mm -hmm. That would be uh, something that you could um whip up in just seconds and very good and it, that size was perfect for two people actually it, we had big portions and mm -hmm. if you had smaller portions it would feed a lot of people yeah but we just had um big portions in mm -hmm. our cup we did on that original serving uh -huh. but the next day when i had some of it i got a smaller serving mm -hmm. and i really enjoyed it Okay, and then the next video we did was the smothered Swiss steaks. Mm -hmm. And we actually, the day we made that video, Marie made her dessert video the same day. Mm -hmm. And so we was able to uh, have both of those at one meal, weren't we? Right. And the uh, smothered Swiss steaks were very delicious. Mm -hmm. We had them on uh, potatoes. Mm -hmm. But the next day for leftovers, I cooked some uh, wide egg noodles mm -hmm. and served it over the egg noodles. And personally, I think I liked it better over the egg noodles than I did over the potatoes. Yeah, you can also put it over rice too, but um, I think I would have liked it better if they wouldn't instant potatoes. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, Fast and easy is the way to go, but sometimes you take shortcuts. And so Calvin, he he wasn't into cream and potatoes that day, so <laughs> so we had some fast and easy cream potatoes. <laughs> well, uh, you know I'll agree that the you know regular potatoes when you um, cut them up and cook them, make them is better than instant potatoes. Mm -hmm. But uh, instant potatoes are good. And last year when I was uh, after my surgery one of the foods that I could eat was uh, potatoes. Mm -hmm. And so I had instant potatoes almost every day. Yeah. And that was one of the foods I could eat. And that wouldn't have been fair for me to have made you make uh, actual potatoes, you know, every day. And so the instant potatoes, she could make them and then I could have them for a couple, three days. Oh, I wouldn't have mind. I love cream potatoes. I would have made them every day. <laughs> and, uh, well, you got to do all the cutting and peeling yeah. and cooking and everything. But uh, now we didn't make a video on this, but just speaking of cutting up potatoes yesterday, uh, or actually the day before, I had got a, a notion that I wanted some butter beans, mm -hmm. some real good cooked butter beans. I did clean them and look them and then I rinsed them off. 
and left them soaking in water overnight. Yeah. And then the next morning got up early and put them in a crock pot and added all the seasoning mm -hmm. to it. And we didn't have any ham hocks to add to it. Mm -hmm. So we took off and went over to Piggly Wiggly's uh, in Lindale. And I got a little package of ham hocks and come back and added a couple of ham hocks to it. Mm -hmm. And then that afternoon, right before they got done, I made some cornbread. Mm -hmm. And I also uh, cut up some potatoes and fried potatoes because Marie loves fried potatoes in the cast iron skillet. Yeah, and, so, and the uh, reason Kevin's doing all that cooking is because Marie can't stand up too long right now. <laughs> okay, well, uh, well, anyway, I enjoy doing it too. <laughs> but uh, when I got through, the meal turned out so delicious. I told Marie, I said, we should have made video on this. I said, because, yeah, I mean, we, but we've done butter beans two or three times, and mm -hmm. I hate to do the same thing over and over again. Right. But it really did turn out good, and also we had slaw to go with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, did we have anything else? I think that was it. Yeah, on the, that on the, was really good. Yeah, on the cornbread. Now, I can make a real good uh, pot of cornbread. Mm -hmm. And Marie asked me, she said, Calvin, when you mix up your cornbread, see if you can uh, put some peppers in it and make it taste a little bit like uh, what the Piccadilly cornbread tastes. <laughs> so I tried it and I added some stuff to it and it turned out uh, pretty good. It, I mean, it tasted good, but to me it was a little bit too spicy hot. And uh, how did you feel about it? <laughs> it wasn't to me. I loved it <laughs> and I yeah. thought it was just right. It wasn't as pretty as what Marie makes when she makes her Mexican cornbread. But it was really good. I had no complaints with it. Yeah, but it was <laughs> a little bit uh, spicier. Yeah, Kevin but, uh, is not one for spice at all. If it, can, it even if it's mild spice, he says that's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like hot spicy foods anymore. Mm -mm. But I dealt with that all my life, and uh, that was one of the reasons I probably ended up with the esophagus cancer was from probably eating so much uh, food that my stomach couldn't handle, and so. Uh, so anyway, I definitely don't want no spicy food now. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> but. Uh, but anyway, it was a really delicious meal. I uh, enjoyed it, and I wished I'd made a video on it, but I didn't. Yeah. Um, speaking of meals, Thanksgiving is coming up, and I was surprised uh, when Marie and I was talking a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. and we were checking the calendar to see when Thanksgiving is. I said, my goodness, it's just two weeks away. Yeah. And I can't believe that Thanksgiving is less, it's like a week and a half away right now. It just seemed like it's got here too quick, but our plans are that we're going to be going up to uh, our son's house, uh, Lamar and Tara. They uh, usually each year at Thanksgiving, they'll host all of our family, and then at Christmas time, Cynthia and Jason, they'll host all of our family. And so we've been doing that for several years now. We did it after Marie had her surgery in 2015. We did it here for a few years, but yeah. then we finally got to a point that it was just too hard on Marie to have to do that big meal and host and everything, and so we started letting our children do it. And so, yeah, and I, I do admit that I miss it around the holidays too, but then I'm also grateful that I don't have to do it too. But, you know, it's like I go backwards and forwards, you know, but you, can, you do what your body will let you do, and... Then I push mine a little bit further, I guess, sometimes, <laughs> and so. But anyway, I just uh, enjoy each day the best I can and do do as, do what I can, and that's the way I get by right now. <laughs> well, uh, the thing that I enjoy is uh, just being with all the family and, and having a good time. Yes. And I don't like the feeling. We used to have the feeling when the meal was over with we would be so tired and exhausted. It just really got the best of us. Yeah, and, so, and I've talked to, I've heard a lot of elderly people. I'm not saying we're elderly, but <laughs> we're not young chickens. <laughs> but I've heard a lot of them, you know, express the same feelings <laughs> that it's, you know, you cook that big meal and everybody comes in, it seems like they all scatter as soon as the meal's <laughs> over. And, some of them stick around, but not all of them do. But, you know, I guess some of them's got plans. They have to go to the other dinners. So, 
anyway, you just do all that work and everybody goes home quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it works. Mm. Well, now this coming week, Marie, um, I, I had to go into Walmarts a couple of days ago to mm -hmm. pick up something. Oh, some pictures. I had some pictures printed. I went there and picked them up mm -hmm. and I was noticing as I went in, I seen a lot of Christmas decorations mm -hmm. and a lot of Christmas candy. And so I told Marie, I said, I want us to go to Walmart one day, maybe this coming week. Mm -hmm. Let's go in Walmart and look around and, uh, and we'll try to record some of it and show some of the things because it looked like they had a lot of new things that looked very interesting. And I yeah. think that'd be a fun trip for us. I've been watching a lot of videos and I've been seeing some of this stuff in the stores and I thought, I sure wish I was in there <laughs> looking well, at some of them. But um, Calvin says he's going to um, take me and so I'm looking forward to it. We're going to try our best to go one day this week yeah. as long as I'm not too sleepy every day like mm -hmm. I have been this last week. Okay, Marie, uh, we can go ahead and close our video out for today. I apologize that I just hadn't felt good enough to really get into it real good today. Mm -hmm. And so probably didn't cover as much as we could have covered. But we appreciate everyone watching, and we hope everyone's having a great day. And we'll see you on our next video. Yeah, and if y'all having cool, damp weather, and you got arthritis, I got one little hint that I do to help me. I put a little heating pad in there and it keeps me warm and it really makes me feel really good. <laughs> good, so that's my little tip for today. And so I'm gonna close this video out now. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And I'll see you on the next video. And as soon as this, we're finished with this video, I'm gonna go back in there and cover up and get in under my heating pad. <laughs> so see y'all, bye. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here